Check, check, mic check, one, two, it's about that time! Oh boy. All right, uh, this is, uh, all right, well, this <laughs> What's is... up, motherfuckers? <laughs> this is the Rock Block, episode four! Yo, We're not yo. taking any shit! Yo. This is the Rock Block! Yo, 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 yo! I'm Thanks gonna, for tuning in, motherfuckers. I'm gonna preface this episode four of the Rock Block with a quote that we heard pretty early on in the movie. Yeah. The quote is, lower your expectations, that's how you'll be happy. Fuck, you gotta lower them hard. And I think that applies both for the movie and for uh, this podcast. Our, our podcast. It's, also, it's it, applies, it applies to the viewing of the movie, but also the whole theme of the movie, which was like, lower your expectations, kid, because your dreams aren't going to come true. Honestly, I think... Um, yeah, but then it turns layered. out the dreams do come true. They do. Everything came true. That kid was a they, rocker. They come man. true, and then you don't remember. Well, okay, we should back up before yeah. we're... <laughs> so it doesn't matter if they come yeah. true. Yeah, let's back up. Let's back up. All right. So, let's, should we talk about the plot just a little bit first? Do we want to okay, even so... recap from our last episode and maybe just what into we, this we one? We watched Jumanji. Wait, what? Yeah, we what? saw Jumanji last. It was uh, Dwayne's newest movie. We loved it. Loved it. We loved Fantastic. it. Fantastic. It was a pretty good movie, and it was a great rock performance. Yes. Full charisma. And then we decided to watch the Tooth Fairy, kind of take it back in time a little bit, back to a, a nice year 2010. A simpler time. We wanted to show, we, we had watched some action movies of The Rock, and we yeah. wanted to see his family comedy side. Yeah. And personally, I was dreading this movie. I was not. Yeah. I've seen it. Okay, so just so the audience knows, I have seen this movie before. I haven't, oh. It's important. All right, now we can get into it. So, um... <laughs> You, you. Um, so, <laughs> I had hit, seen. Hit us with that fart. I, oh. oh, it's gone. No, She's you pulled up her notes. It. You ruined it. I was looking at my notes. Oh, yeah. Good job, dude. Well, I'll get a fart in there eventually. Yeah. Anyway, so I have seen this movie before. Um, a few, as you guys. Okay, so this is more for the audience. These guys know. Um, I had seen this movie a few times before. Like, for a while, for some reason, like around maybe, I guess, like 2011 they or 2012, they were playing this movie a lot on, like, TBS. And. My mom and I would have the movie on in the background because my mom just wanted to look at The Rock's bod. So I'm pretty familiar with this movie, but there's a lot that I forgot plot-wise. I realized that we really just had it on as uh, background visuals just to see his body. It's, you want to get yeah. some background beef. We just, background wanted some, beef. we just wanted some man meat. I get that. It's a house, you know, it's, just, it's you know, two ladies and like a small boy. So like we need some man. We need some ladies masculine. Ladies love big beef and we maybe needed, small boys like beef. We needed some masculine presence in the house. We needed a daddy <laughs> figure. We need a stepdaddy. Segway, he's a stepdaddy in this ass. movie. So your, your little Which, brother is perhaps looking for a... A, 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 a male daddy, role model, a daddy. and like I also like I wrote one of the no notes I wrote uh, was I wish The Rock was my stepdad. I do too. I think he'd be a good inspiration, and I'd be very fit if he was my stepdad. Based off of this movie, I wouldn't. He was a dick I for you... almost this entire. No, movie. I said that at the very no. beginning, and then I was like, you know what? No, he's more like real stepdads. He's a dick. He's a dick. So let's let's talk about how let's, he let's is. Should we break down, break down the plot? Break it down. Break down the plot. Who wants to Who wants to do the plot? First off, you got it. He has hair. That's not the plot. That's, it is the plot. It's a plot point. It is a big part of the plot. <laughs> the rock and the rock's geology. That's. I mean, it's a pretty big. Wait, you we're think looking, the rock's geology? Is that what I we're calling that. his history? His geology. His geology. That's really fun. I didn't we're know that look, was We're looking at him. We're looking at the stratified layers of his his movie career. It's 2010, and he still pen. has hair. Somehow. And 2010 saw his hair. When do we know when he started just going hairless? Gonna guess 2011. I assumed it was earlier than that. Could yeah. have been fake hair for the movie. Anyway, movie starts. He has hair. Biggest surprise. Mm -hmm. um, also, biggest surprise. He's just a, a hockey player. Didn't even know that was a thing. He was a goon. like a washed up yeah. hockey I, player. I truly was, had no idea that the sports thing was a part of. He this was movie. a goon. So like in the the plot of the movie, The Rock is a goon. He's like the guy that's like hired on the team just to like beat people up, and he got the nickname the Tooth Fairy because he knocks your fucking teeth out. Yep. And he's very proud of this, but he also like as we find out as the movie progresses that he actually has some shame about this being his position because he used to be like a star hockey player. He's, he had like, dreams. He's, scor he's had dreams. He had dreams. He's scoring all the goals, and that's why he crushed his children's dreams every time he interacts with them. Yeah, just and really awful. More he's really that, mean to he's kids. He's a jackass. He's mean to kids. I think this is the meanest that we've seen The Rock yeah. in all of our viewings for this podcast so far. Yeah. He's a he's a dick. He yeah. he goes up to like an 8-year-old boy and tells him stop playing hockey, you're not going to because be Because there's a 7-year-old that's You're than a you. loser. There's someone younger than you that's better than you. Stop. Just go home. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, I didn't like that. I, I assume that it has something to do with his hair follicles being in the way of his good nature. Something. No, I think they were trying to create a character that like we were. It was supposed to allude to his past, and no, I got what they were trying to do. It just who wasn't executed well. But also, I'm not a child watching the movie. As a kid, it might make sense. Like, oh yeah, he's a bad guy. Then he's a good guy because they are setting up this film for children. They went back and forth on that quite a few times. Oh, aggressive. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He was pretty cool for a bit, then a dick again. Well, that's what a climax of a kid's movie is. Mm-hmm. What's, what's the type of rocks that uh, get heated up and then cool down again? Uh, those are galactic. <laughs> I don't igneous? Know. Is it igneous? I think it, those metamorphic? Are the, those are the lava ones. Igneous are lava What about rocks? metamorphic? It's not yeah. sedimentary. They are... Uh, metamorphic are... Uh, igneous? Let's look that up. Platonic? I Platonic said, rocks? I said igneous. Hold on. I'm wow. A, 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 Define. I thought I knew rocks. I don't. I don't know. There is a type that heats and cools a lot, but I thought Hold it was. On. Define metamorphic. Here we go. Man. Is it metamorphic? We need a oh, geologist. Oh, I spelled it too wrong. Metamorphic. There we go. Metamorphic rock. So, yeah, metamorphic rock definition: rock that was once that was once one form of rock, but has changed under the influence of heat, pressure, or some other agent without passing through a liquid phase. That's accurate. So that's, that's it. That's what happened to him in the movie. Yeah. Um, a lot of pressure. He's both hot from and he's cold. He's yes and he's a new, no. A new family role. Um, his struggling athletic career. And suddenly, after telling a little girl, or trying to tell a little girl that Tooth Fairy isn't real, um, he's forced to be a Tooth Fairy. That's the plot of the movie. Which is, and like we pointed out when we were just watching this, like, is this going to be the Santa Claus? And mm. it was, but it wasn't. It did have vibes in the beginning. It did have, like, that he just needed to believe. He had to lean into his magical I being, thought it was going to be, Which was like, the Santa Claus. He was going to tackle a tooth fairy because he thought no, he was an No, it intruder. was different in that way, but it was similar to the Santa Claus in that, like, the goal was for him to get filled with the magic spirit to help him connect to his children. Yeah. So for our, for our listeners out there, The Rock is a aspiring stepdad in this family. Mm-hmm. He is dating the mom. Yeah. Who honestly does not fit the part of The Rock's girlfriend. She is... <laughs> Is not nearly will, as beefy. I will, but she that. has two two kids: a swoopy, angsty Zach slash Cody, and a toothless young girl. And um, She's about seven. The Rock needs to befriend both of them in order to swoon the mother. And he, he he's not doing a great job about it at first. No, no, uh, he's kind of rude, trying to. Put his his rules on the family, and mom's not down with it. It's not his place to do that. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I, yeah, I guess he, it's just kind of like the classic stepdad. What they try to do, they kind of try to yeah. get in your family and establish the. This is how I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. I don't think he was doing that so much. I don't think that it was, was only the thing. dreams thing. And like it was just the dreams thing things. because he like you know he like babysits. But also one point that I'd like to make, just like something that I wrote down yeah, on, what do you while we're on the subject, is I I had the thought which I shared with you guys. I think this bitch dates dudes for babysitters because mm-hmm. he's did watching her, son off. her kids a lot. Yeah, and I was like, I think she just wants. Free What's she child- doing? Does she have a job? That she just wants free childcare. We never see it. We, we never might have see been, it. Might have been a cutscene. We don't have the DVD. Oh, uh, we need to go back and watch the extended edition. We need to get the DVD. Hmm. Let's not. <laughs> this right. movie was exhausting to me. Okay. So, so The Rock tells um, the little girl that the Tooth Fairy doesn't exist, which is a crime in Tooth Fairy world. Oh, Because yeah. it's, it's uh, what was it? Something of disbelief. It was a lot of words. Uh, some bullshit. I Something of disbelief. Yeah. Just mentioned disbelief. He got, so he was laying in his bed. And we see these little things popping up in his shirt, and we're like, oh, fuck, are those wings? They are wings. They are. Turns out And under wings. his pillow, there's a summons to serve as a tooth fairy. And he gets sentenced at first to one week on tooth fairy duty, but then he gets a little sassy with Julie Andrews. By the way, Julie Andrews, I've got to get to that stellar fucking cast in this movie. And uh, then she sentences him when he's being a sass to two weeks in tooth fairy duty. Yeah, and you're kind of just like on call for tooth fairy duty, I guess. Yeah, it's like being a fireman. Yeah, you're just given an address. But there's a side character in um, this movie who is kind of in charge of Dwayne. It's one of Aaron's favorite characters I, in I'd any like movie. I'd like to talk about him, too. Yeah, um, what, what do you got? You got? You got a lot to say? Um, so the Rock's handler, as he's a tooth fairy, Stephen is, Merchant. is a man named Tracy. So, who... Hold on, just for the viewers, it's Stephen Merchant. If you don't know who it is, Google it. He's, friend, he's you... friends with Ricky Gervais. If you want to see what he looks like, Google Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> This is a disgusting serpent man, a fucking ghoul of a creature with red sunken eyes, and he's about 7'4. He could have been and he is wise. a disgusting. 
disgusting. He could have been Pennywise. Creature. He's like three golems standing on top of each other. <laughs> He's and six foot seven. I oh, despise dude. looking at this man, and they kept on having him smile at you and smile at you until his veins are popping out of his forehead, and I, I wanted to throw up. And you he really was, had a bad time watching. He him. was my least favorite part of the movie. I was just slamming beers to get through it, and and the drunker I got, the least likely I was to like to look at his face. I wanted to throw. Yeah, up. you just made it worse. <laughs> It backfired on me. It did. Um, this man does not look human. I like Stephen Merchant. And also an interesting thing, because he is such a daddy long legs type of human, is that, that's what we said, um, yeah. he, standing next to the rock, looks like a normal man. So I do encourage everyone. He's if taller you don't than know, the rock. He's taller than the rock. He's Which six, was in, he's six, incredible seven. to eight, see. So eight, I just six. want... I the just, guy is crazy. I want everyone he's just... Six, six, seven. He's six, seven. He's not eight. You say eight, six? You said seven, four earlier. <laughs> so, but like everyone should Google just like his name if you don't know who he is. Just so you can see how tall he is standing next to Ricky Gervais, which is just like a average slash short man. It makes to Ricky Gervais look like a pet. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He looks like a little porcelain doll with a beard. He's, he's um, freaky. And a V-neck, but... So next to the rock, he just looks like a tall man, which just kind of gives you an idea. It's like they were trying to downplay just how fucking big the rock is. Well, because he's I like wonder, coming like, in as like a they, macho guy, but it's interesting to, to see make someone the rock bigger look less big. I think so. It was a weird didn't, call. They didn't like present him as this huge man. Like I feel like the woman they chose for to play like the girlfriend role also had to be very tall. I will say because he didn't look huge next to her. They didn't really play off they, of his muscles. A I think lot they were just movie. trying to make he him. Did. I think no, they Not did. A lot. I think they were trying to make him That's look level. like a manly man, mm -hmm. but they weren't really playing up just how fucking big he is because they put him with very tall people that made him not look that it huge. It could be a British thing too. There are a lot of British actors, which Dwayne himself just brought it up in the movie. He's like, yes, why he are all the fairies speaking? Like, why are they have British accents? Which was kind of are funny. Are you saying that when British, he's all making British fun people of that. are tall right now? No. All, all British people oh. are tall. But maybe he was some, like, he has comedic British friends and maybe he was like, I'm down for this role. Yeah, I'm nine foot that, six, but... and I'm gonna play next to the I'm rock. I'm just saying, it does seem like they chose like a very a lot of tall my people eight legs to be next to him to make him look less big. I hated this goddamn creature. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Also, we did find out in this movie at this point the rock was because we like to talk about the meat. Because as meat just because you guys have brought up how he ha wasn't as big, he they was did, considerably there was, not big, but still yeah. big Dude, for a person. He was strapped, there was a line but in the noticeably movie. Like half the size. I think we've looked it up before, and I think we found that he's like what two seventy now. Not two seventy, is he? Is right he? now? Maybe. Well, he is in the movie it said two thirty. Yeah, pounds. I guess. So. But they also said Stephen Merchant was six nine, and he's six seven, so it could be an exaggeration. The Rock was looking anemic in this movie. And I mean, yeah. he, he, he had goes. a neck. He had a neck. He had a neck. Time. neck. He had one neck instead he of like three. Not, yeah. it, his, he, his neck did not look like a horse's thigh. Yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like a person, like a meaty person instead of a demigod. Yes. And uh, that like, was weird still, for me. He, yeah, he was just like a strapping, very like buff, beautiful actor. He's more of like a Channing Tatum type as far as body goes yeah. instead of a, uh, yeah, as you said, demigod. I didn't like it. it. Yeah. I think The Rock now is in his final ascension. I don't know if he can maybe, get bigger. He's maybe he'll explode. get bigger. He might pop. <laughs> it's like a volcano. He's going to explode. I'm um, curious of what he'll look like with an old age. Cause, like, good. I don't want to think about eventually it. Eventually those muscles do droop. Uh, What's going to happen? Don't do that to it's, my heart. Let's not bring that up. I don't even want to discuss sorry, it until sorry, it happens. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Future episode. Episode uh, 200 of The Rock Block. We'll bring yeah, it we'll, up. We'll, you, 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 you. We'll, we'll <laughs> catch up to that. Um, are you what, what is what? Okay. Because there it is. There we go. Yeah. That's a long one. Sorry. Um, so in the movie, what? <laughs> Whoopsies. How are we at plot wise in the movie? Do we want to dissect it so, anymore? Or? Um. Well, okay. So like, I'm just gonna. Can I do like quick plot? Go for it. Let's All get right. it out of the way. So the rock. No one cares he's dating, anyway. He's dating this girl. He's dating this lady. She's got two kids. Uh, crushes their dreams a little bit. He's like, oh, he's just like kind of at the beginning of the movie, just like crushing kids' dreams, saying like, oh, your dreams are never gonna come true. There's always somebody better than you. We find out that that relates to his career as a hockey player. He was a professional, um, but and he got into a fight and he knocked the dude's teeth out, ripped his shoulder. Now he's you know he's playing like semi pro. He's a goon now. He's just there to beat people up. So then we progress in the story and he's like becoming a fairy and now he's like and then like he's like not falling into the role very well. He's like, oh, this is still bullshit. I'm not a fairy. He's using his power a little too liberally and then poorly. um poorly he's a bad fairy. Really. He's not good at it. And yeah. then 
um, eventually he starts getting the hang of it. He starts connecting oh. with her kids. He actually starts like telling. He tells the boy who is playing guitar, and he like references who is he reference Jimi Hendrix, Zach and, or Cody. No, who does he reference? Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. That's his, this kid's hero, apparently. Because all eleven-year-olds lo- look I up think to he's Stevie 12. Ray Vaughan. He has swoopy banks. He's at least twelve. Um, and he gives him some encouraging words. Blah blah blah. He's feeling good, and then he has a bad hockey game. Uh, he, Where he tries to. He's, you know. So he's trying to train. He's like, and the kids like encourages him, like, "Hey, you know what? You can do it. You Reach can your follow goals. your dreams." How do you know your shoulder's broken? I'm like, because he knows his body. But apparently, this kid can convince him that his shoulder isn't fucked up. Mm-hmm. And so then he trains. He gets better. He gets in the game. He's ready to play. And he chokes. And then after that, now it's the climax of the story. The rock falls to the bottom of the pit. He just He's a pebble, and he's falling Returns down to the, the bottom of the earth, mountain. Gets he's, reforged. And then he will be... Igneous. No. That was metamorphic, I think. Metamorphic. <laughs> he metamorphosizes. <laughs> so he gets to the bottom. The kid smashes his guitar, because the kid's like... That was... Yeah, oh, yeah. He's been helping the rock the, treats him like shit. So he's been helping the kid train for, like, get ready. Oh, yeah, by the way, in this bands. movie, apparently the rock plays drums as well. He can ice skate, and he can play drums. He, he has can, a lot he's of... He's got to make it look like he plays drums, but he wasn't really he doing a lot. Every time that they them. showed him, they did not show the drums. They just showed the sticks. Yeah. So anyway, uh, practicing with the kid. He has a bad day. He tells the kid, like, yeah, you'll never you never make it, kid. You're just 12 and you suck. And the kid smashes his guitar. Verbatim. He says, that's what he yeah. says. And then, I'm just trying to do it really that's a, fast. That's a quote. I'm I trying think... to go as fast. Hold on. I just want to do this really fast. And then, then what happens? Then, um, oh, and fast. then he has, like, you a, think the words. he's having a bad day. And, uh, and the girl's like, get out of here. You can't be near my she kids. She breaks up with him. Or me. Get out of my fucking house. And he's like, no. And then, um... <laughs> He's like, oh no, I'm the rock, but I'm so hurt. I am, I am, I'm not made of stone. I have a soft inner side that's being torn apart right now. Oh no. This sucks. He says that too in the movie. It was and a really weird part. His voice got really high. Well, his voice does it get does high. It does get high sometimes. That's what high. I was going for. Yeah. And then, no, you weren't. wait, what makes him want to change? I guess just like wanting to be Well, better. he was there and he tried to, they put him in the game because the other guy got hurt. Oh yeah. The younger player that was one-upping him on the team. Ryan Sheckler. Oh yeah, Ryan fucking Sheckler. And then, Straight out of Tony Hawk Underground 2. He comes then, back in yeah. to play comes back as to play. a hockey player. Right, and Sheckler. then he sees um, his, his handler, his fairy handler, who he also oh, yes. told off. Oh, the Spider-Man. Um, was actually there like, encur- like for encouragement. And just like, you yes. know what? And then he Don't gets give his, up. And he gets his shit together. He, and he makes the shot. He gets the shot. And then the dude's like, oh, also, this whole time, so, like, Stephen Merchant has wanted to be a fairy, but he has no wings. And he wants to be a tooth fairy, but he's just, you know, he's just, like, an HR. And then the rock is, like, he, he's been, like, when he was being positive rock, he was like, you know what, you can fucking do it. And he was training him as he was training himself. But then he got shitty, and he told off Stephen Merchant really hard. Yeah, like when painful. he yelled at the kid, he also yelled at the other yes. fairy guy. He yeah, yelled at was, the fairy, that, that and he's like, me. you have no wings, bitch. You'll yeah. never be a tooth fairy. And that hurt. But for some reason... So he was mean. a good guy, and he just showed up for him yeah. just to be a good guy. Yeah. And uh, then, um, so he met up with the Rock. Like he's got his training now. Like he could. So like, find 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 out. We find out. We find out. We find out that the little girl, she lost another tooth. Uh, yeah, she's just popping teeth out left and right. And he's mm-hmm. been called to go take care of it. And Stephen Merchant's like, Who or Tracy, predicted that? Who or Tracy seen that coming? was like, you know what? I can take care of this for you, buddy. Or you can do it. The but I can take care of it. He's like, I'm the qualified. Girl. And then The Rock was like... <laughs> I didn't pick up on this, by the way. The did game tra- and the girl? Did Tracy say he could have done it for him? Yes. yes. But it's like, you'll miss out on the opportunity to do it yourself. Tracy's I, like, follow your hockey dreams. I had blood rage in my eyes. I didn't even know that you this were just You weren't listening you're just to him. Beaming I was just pissed off. Just Every groaning. time he was on the screen, I could not... Think so Tracy <laughs> slash Stephen Merchant was like, I'll take care of this for you, buddy. And The Rock was like, no, I gotta do this. And then his wings burst out of his uniform, and then he gets covered in baby blue silk, and he flies out of there, and he delivers the a, a portal, portal tooth. in the ceiling. Yes. Fairy so also, you guys yeah, said that the portal, portal didn't exist. It did exist in the beginning of the movie when he first became a fairy. Uh, barely. Um, barely. It did exist. So anyway. It's been established. There is a plot hole. I haven't got to that yet. This is not the plot hole. So then um, he goes and he sees her and he replaces it. Then he, and he's being very quiet because he's learned how to be a good stealthy fairy. But then he wakes her up and he's like, I'm the tooth fairy. And she's like, no, you're not. And he's like, yes, I am. And he puts a magic dust. 
And then uh, he goes to the kid who broke his guitar, and he uses his... he fi- Oh, also, this whole time he's had a magic wand, but you can only use it if you believe. The Rock finally believes. He does believe. He, he finally believe. believes, so he can use his magic wand. Not only fixes the guitar, upgrades it to a, Gives him a very red sweet and gold red strat. fancy guitar. And the kid's like, oh, yeah! And he's like, I'm going to play the talent show! And then he turns and into Jack Black. Uh-huh. Yeah, he turns into Jack Black. He gets very portly <laughs> and really energetic with his yeah, eyebrows. It was a very and, school of rock moment. Then. Yes. Yeah. And The Rock flies him over to the talent show and then... Makes him forget that he makes saw him, him forget, as a tooth fairy. And he disappears. And then The Rock goes back to Fairyland. And then um, Julie Andrews tells him, like, you can't actually remember any of this. And he's well, like, no. They take away his fairy powers. He's done. He's yeah. served his time. Maybe we yeah. talk about that. The whole... All the lessons learned in this movie. No, this is what I wanted to get to. All no, the lessons the learned in the movie, the, as Rock was a fairy, he forgets them. Yeah, because they Ar- make him forget everything. And I wrote down, he learns nothing in the end. Arguably, he does learn nothing in the whole movie. Like, yeah. like I like to think what they're tr- so, like, yeah. They make him forget everything, and they send him back to the real world. He's got his leather jacket back on, and now he's at the concert, at the talent I show. I notice that jacket. With the kid. Yeah. It's good. Looks yeah. hot. And then the kids on stage. He couldn't fit in but, the jacket So nowadays, I think so that, what they no were way. trying to go Custom for, because I did write, he learns nothing in the end, question mark, jacket. is that I think what they were trying to go for is intuitively he is soaked in these life lessons. Yeah. He doesn't remember the experience, but he has the life lessons in his mind, and that's why he wants to get married now, and he wants to commit to this woman, because he was like kind of scary commitment before. He's like, you know, he's just like playing poker with the boys, drinking juice boxes, and now... <laughs> yeah, why well, don't they crush the juice boxes we playing talk poker? about that? I think it was because he's babysitting, and they're trying to be like, oh, he's responsible while he babysitting. There was a sequence in the movie where The Rock is playing poker with the boys, and they're all sipping juice boxes. Yeah. That's also when you find out The Rock is broke. He is broke. And yeah. instead of instead of ponying up money, he signs stuff in a really sad attempt. And his friends oh, just actually, call this him out leads to the whole His thing. friends are... It's pretty awkward. This actually like leads to part of the plot, too. So, like, during this poker game, this is when he's still, like, not a fairy. He goes into the little girl's room because yeah. they're like, "Don't those kids have piggy banks or something?" And he go, he's like, "Oh, light bulb!" And he goes into the little girl's room, and she has money under her pillow, and he takes just it. steals the, the rock tooth fairy money. Steals, steals money from the small child. Yes, he does. And then he Insane. becomes her hero in the end. Yeah, because that's the American dream. Arguably, this might be the rocket as lowest so far. That we have watched at least. What do you mean, in darkest? In, in Pain and Gain, he was pretty dark too. He's that's steezy. true, but he was. He bigger. had a heart of gold, though. He was bigger yeah. in Pain and Gain, so he, I would think no, that we get more wiggle just, room. No, it's not just that. He had a heart of gold. He didn't want to be doing these things. And this one, he is more skeezy. This, he has got a heart. He's of got grace. he's got rage issues. He has low self esteem. He's got small muscles. He's got hair. He's still. Pretty he's got an he, ugly he fucking muscles. wife, it's and he's got a disgusting guy that looks like that. spider handler. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Sorry, Steve. I hated this movie. Well, that's pretty much the plot. I want to talk about just a few of our favorite scenes. Um, oh, okay. What I would like to bring up is when he is first very small, like doing his first, like, go get the tooth in the house. Oh, explain how he gets small. He sucks on a tube. Of some sort of that gel. Billy there's Crystal of, gave him. There's a bit of of, of a of a toothpaste stuff that shrinks him down. Right? Yeah. So yeah. He, he shrinks down. He sneaks upstairs. Um, gets the tooth. Is about to leave. Scares the kid. Kid brings parents in. Cat also comes in. I guess the cat is really concerned about the screaming child. Yeah. And then grabs a tech deck on the floor and just skates his way out of the room, doing a sick. He ramped somehow? Yeah, that was incredible. He just ramped with a tech deck out of some kid's room with wings and looked at the camera and did like a thing. Did he say, oh yeah, because he did that a few He'd times. He said, oh yeah, a couple times. Yeah. I don't know if it was then. I was so drowning in a sea of hate and I was despising this movie and, and then he brings this tech deck in and, yeah. and even grumpy old me is like, all right. That was kind of badass. Yeah, I was, was into cool. it. I was into it. The Rock does a tech deck trick and that was fucking awesome. It was cool. <sighs> What about you guys? Any so my favorite part, moments? as I mentioned earlier in the pod, was star-studded cast. Star-studded cast. We had Julie Andrews. We had Stephen Merchant. We have The Rock. And we also had Billy motherfucking Crystal. I hope someone else besides you knows Bill, who Bill, all these Bill. people are. Yeah. Billy motherfucking Crystal We had all movie. those guys that we all love. And 
So Billy Crystal, he's like very similar to his role in The Princess Bride being like a wizard type with white hair, except now he might actually have white hair. And he's got like a little low ponytail. He's like hippie ish. And just like the funniest lines in the movie. He are was in one scene and it was incredible. He was it's really the funniest funny. scene. And I did I did write down one of the quotes, which was so when he's actually, as Zach mentioned, this uh this making the shrinking goo, mm-hmm. I wrote down he's he's describing the shrinking goo, he's trying to get the rock to do the shrinking goo with him, and he says one of the funniest lines in the movie, which is, Let's get small and jump into each other's hands. I also have that written down. It's great. It was a great yes. and then he also talked about well, they have have to see it. I don't want to do too many spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> but Billy, just like Billy Crystal being in it, like it was the funniest part. I was so excited to see. It was just like surprise. Oh, and then like fucking Seth MacFarlane. Like there's just like was so there many, barely so many fucking famous people in this movie, and it just was blown. I think that a I lot of them were there for it. the parents. Yeah. Seth Green comes out of nowhere. I wish and Seth Green was in it too. Fairy. What if Seth Green was in this too? It'd be an he was if he'd be like in a little gothic tutu. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Aaron, what about you? Any memorable scenes that you want to bring up? Uh, you guys hit on the only two parts of the movie that I enjoyed. No, you got goosebumps, remember? Yeah, you got goosebumps. I did. I'm actually, I get goosebumps really easily from really cheesy shit, and, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember. Was it when he was... You felt the magic when he... He sprinkled magic on the yeah. girl? Was that when you got it? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it is. Did it I? Is. I wow. wrote, and then I also... I'm embarrassed, but... <laughs> And I wrote in my notes, Aaron is the rock. When, he when, felt the magic. Because uh, the rock wasn't open to the magic. Now there was Aaron open to the magic of the of film. Of the movie. And then he felt the magic. Honestly, when, when Ricky Gervais came in with the... Are you uh, talking about Seth MacFarlane? I yes, thought you've been calling yeah, Seth MacFarlane are, Ricky you, Gervais. Is that what that face right? is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, continue. I've got nothing. you got nothing? Um... I like that he had a gold chain on. I, uh, he was, was just a yeah. shady drug dealer yeah, who sold was, a bad fairy drug. It was drugs. unnecessary. No, That's I think, such a weird I think part. it was supposed to be like a joke on like juicing and like doing it the easy way because The Rock is like in for like commitment and dedication. I think you Don't read too much drugs. into that personally. And, but no, this guy was supposed to be like fucking juicing, like just like doing steroids instead of putting the work in. And, uh, I think but, he was just trying to make a quick buck. No, but it was it was a metaphor for like doing steroids. Taking shortcuts. Yeah, taking shortcuts. Taking shortcuts. And and The Rock tried it. It didn't work out. He didn't get reprimanded for that very much. Though. His I think head, he got another his week out of head or shrunk oh, he and did? stretched and that was some weird visual. Effects there was some nasty the '90s era CG they applied to Rock's. They were good. Now let's let's move on next to uh, The Rock's performance in the movie. The Rock's performance in the movie because even in a stinker of a movie, if The Rock performs good. That's a positive for the rock. Mm. Yeah, it's a net positive. Do you want to start? So yeah, sure. Um, uh, he was he was kind of mean the whole time. I feel like think about him as a performer. His performer, that's that very true. For him. Honestly, like I think the weakest rock performance that I thought so far. Yeah, just the weakest overall. I agree. I didn't I feel like he disagree. was completely into the character. There are moments where, like, when he was, I don't know, just like, it didn't seem like his heart was super into a lot of it. I just, like, maybe his heart wasn't into it, but I disagree. Like, okay, so The Rock in this movie, we are usually used to just seeing him as a, at least if even if he's a bad guy, like in that one movie, Pain and Gain, mm-hmm. he still is a heart of gold. And in this one, they're trying to present him as kind of a sleazeball sometimes. Mm-hmm. And so I think he was doing what he could with what he got. And no, so like it's not going to be so positive because he's kind of a dick. His character is a dick. And I think he did what he could with the role. And also, I think it was kind of nice to like actually see him not being this like perfect man with a beautiful smile. And the reason that could even barely be pulled off is because he is so handsome and has such beautiful pearly whites. I don't know. Like I feel like when he tried to be like his iconic smile and just like really charismatic, it, it didn't feel like it really hit me like it usually Cause does. Because he's a sleazeball. I'd, I'd, like to, I'd like to jump in. Yeah, what do you got? Honestly... I love The Rock, obviously. We, yes. we, we came into this we with our mutual love That's of The Rock. That's why we're here. Yeah. I'm giving this stinker a 4 out of 10 in this movie. For The Rock's performance? performance the Rock's or movie? performance Whoa. for four? me was a 4 I think I was going to say 5. Ten. I was going to say 5 out of 10. I had 5 at first, but it soured while you were talking. It turned into a uh. 4. Because, let's talk about it. Muscular-wise, protein-wise, the dude is the smallest anemic form no, that we've ever seen. His performance. I know. Part of the performance so. is his mass. 
I don't think so. We've seen movies before this. We saw what was it? It was Scorpion King. For some reason, he didn't seem as he small in that soft. as he does in this. He probably know. got beefy. His for stunts that movie. were very cool, and that made me. A, that was a cool it. movie. I would just watch Scorpion King again. That was badass. That was a good movie. In this movie, we did get his pearly whites. They were very pearly. They yeah. were very white, but we had zero eyebrows. Zero eyebrows. And you know that that's been a move. This a couple is, one-liners, this is, though. This is a 2010 he movie. Had so many one-liners. A lot of one-liners. So many fucking puns, by the way. So many oh, pun yeah, so one-liners. And I think that is pretty much like I feel like he wanted to do the eyebrow, but they're like, nah, do this pun instead. He. This is the version. It's a verbal version. Of he the was a jackass in this movie, and he was basically telling kids to not follow their dreams for the majority of the no, movie. No, hold on. But that's think not about, his performance. That's no, the that's role not his performance. Playing. That's the script he was given. I think with the script he was given, he did what he could, and he. Was actually given a little bit more range for once. He's not just the hero or like some. He's he had like, a whole character arc. So you're telling me that the Tooth Fairy is the Rock with an expanded range? I think his deepest performance was Pain and Gain because that was a character that had like something to deal with, and then he had like a drug problem. That movie surprised me. I'll be honest. This is not what I expected. I think again, I will stand by that that movie could have been amazing if it wasn't directed by Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. If it was Incredible. given, if it was given to like just some like I don't know, just like fucking indie person, that's a very interesting story, and they fucked yes. it up. Yes, yeah, but I agree. Anyway, I think it's just he wasn't a heart of gold guy this time he had some That's true bad points honestly when i go into a rock movie i'm expecting a certain feeling at this point you got shivers i, I did but i'm a baby i, I mm. that, come, that comes that comes i could get this, oh, i could get that magical. in like a dragon ball z movie or and it was magical and but it was a magical dragon moment ball z movie. it was a magical probably moment. Oh, but i didn't like his performance he was a jerk <sighs> He treated That's kids the poorly. That's the, That's the character, dude. His jokes weren't funny. That's he didn't have he a lot of good stunts. I think he, he had did. hair. His his muscles were smaller. His his girlfriend was unattractive. I didn't You're like the Rock in this movie. I did not like him in this movie. And. It is his I opinion, think, too. It's my opinion. But he was doing... I've seen him so much better. So he got all those things, and then he did what he could with it. Hey, I gave him a four, dude. I gave him a four. I give The Rock a seven for his performance. Seven? seven. I seven think is bold. Astounding. Because he was given garbage, and he put as much of The Rock as he could, much granite fucking rock sheen on it as he could. He was given crap... And I think he did his best with what he was given. And that's why I gave him a seven. It, that's a as far as the, no, the actual movie, the actual script, yeah. we're not talking about the movie. We're well, not that's talking ne- about that's the script. Next. We're talking about The Rock mm-hmm. and his performance with what he was given. I think he did as best as he could with what he was given. A seven out of ten. Interesting. Which is why. So- a four, I'm a trying, five, and a seven. I'm going off of his acting abilities, what he was In this given. Movie. I think he did a good job with what he was given. Okay. Also, love seeing him in those little tights. That was fun for me. I yeah, did too. That was pretty I good. did too. That I was did good. too. Not that that's part of him, but it, it was fun. It is a bit. It was fun, though. So, what would we rate the movie overall? Oh, it's like a 1.5. This is a fucking shit 1.5 out of 10? Hmm, maybe not. Two. Wow. That's harder than I was going to do. Me I was going to say like three me or four. Because Sloan is coming from this. Has, has you're repping this movie mom. harder if than we are. If you're a kid, it's an eight. I would fucking love this if I was eight. It had me laughing. I'd give like, it an eight. I, oh, quite well, a handful Billy, of well, times. Billy Crystal. Oh, now I got to think about it. I really love those Billy Crystal <sighs> scenes. I like the I, Julie I was going to give it. I would say. And then I'm taking it back. I'm maybe. Taking it back. Three out of ten. I'm taking it back now. Because I really like the Billy Crystal scenes. But that's like the saving grace. What would you give it then? I do look, really like the Steve Burton's. <sighs> I think I'm going to say Actually, four out of ten. Four out of ten's mine. I guess it's just like I'd give the plot and the script a one. The movie as a whole. And I think, like, but as a whole... Scoop all those things together as and a slap whole, a number on it. As a whole? As a whole. 4.5. Oh, all right. Okay. So, as a whole... Compar- a pretty good consensus. Comparing this to our previous rock, we're kind of creating a catalog of rock movies. Is yeah. this the worst one we've watched so far? Yes. Because I think so, too. Yes. It sucked. Mm-hmm. Movie-wise, I think, yeah, we haven't Movie watched Movie-wise, it sucked, and rock-wise, it sucked. Because even in garbage movies, The Rock has shined. And 
Coming out of Jumanji, we all loved that movie. Oh, man, that was and The such Rock a good movie. was amazing in that movie. Honestly, though, he didn't even. He wasn't. I don't think. I think he wasn't given that much like range in the character, though. Like they just have to keep him in this like space of being this Mister Charismatic hero, and he had no depth in Jumanji. That's what he is. A charismatic, muscly man. Yeah, no, he was amazing. He's in got Jumanji. darkness, man. He's got darkness. Well, next, what's the next movie we want to watch with him? Any recommendations? We want to do one because Rampage is we next still month. Still have no, to it's in April. Rampage is in four twenty. It's in April, so we, I want to do one for for March. We also still haven't watched any fucking WrestleMania. Is that it? I'm dreading it, but yeah, that's it. It might be it. But We're what gonna, if we can't find something easy? No, I did on, find it. No, I found it. It's on YouTube. It's just that it's um because it's like stolen. It's mm-hmm. like the like quarter of the screen, and so, so I asked Aaron awful. if there's a way for him to like make it bigger. Yeah, but it'll look like shit. It's we can, but do we have a backup? We want to kind of. That's what I found. Like a film, if we, if like we, film. If, if this is too shitty. Yeah. What's that one you mentioned? Had Kevin Hart. Oh yeah. Um. Fuck. That's kind of a uh, well, central Hart. intelligence. I think so. Yeah, that's kind of newer. I think he's in two movies with Kevin Hart, though. Yeah, I love Kevin Hart. Kevin you Hart was so good Kevin in Jumanji. Hart. Why did you say it like that? He is funny. Yeah, he's so funny. You're a oh dick. my god. What's your recommendation, Aaron? Uh, Let's hear it. Oh, yeah, that's what I expected. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, um, I, th- I figured. Um, do we ever want to try to watch Ballers? I've watched it. I've watched one episode. It wa- was misogynistic, yes. But were there muscles and were there titties? I'm expecting yes. money, boats, rock, breasts. I've heard yes, that the rock the hangs dong in this one. No way. What? No way. No, but we should just. Find I thought that Sloan. I, I thought Sloan said that he has sex in this movie, in this show. There is sex. There are sex scenes. I didn't say he hangs dong. Okay. I just know that he fucks. We see no peen, but we do see the rock <laughs> thrust. He does fuck. Do you we see, his, see butt? his rippling muscles would, as he? You do see his butt as he shoves oh, himself hard. into beautiful vixens. <laughs> That's what I would need. That's just what I need. <laughs> That's Shrub cinematography. Oh, it's Central Intelligence, by the <laughs> yeah, way. Central that Intelligence. is the one. I just wanted to confirm. I'd do ballers. I want to see The Rock fuck. I mean, we have HBO Go. We do. For, while we have it, we should probably use it. <sighs> if The Rock's fucking, I'm not. Well, let's, uh, I guess contact. it'll be a surprise for, nope, that's staying in. <laughs> um, I don't know how many episodes we'd have to watch to find him, like, nut, though. Because he starts off, it's like, well, it, the way it starts off is he's, like, kind of, he's trying to build. Say the word nut more. It's, he's trying to build, like, the first episode, he's trying to build up his business. Like, he's not a champion at the beginning. He has to build up to the empire. And now it's, like, When empire. he gets the empire, oh, then he is Where we're at right now. Nut. Nut I think where he we're is. at right now is he's nut in all of Nut here, place. nut there. Nut, nut, nut in a king her, size Nut on her, nut in her. Her, <laughs> nut around her. He can nut wherever he can. Nutting in the hair in oh, the king boy. size bed. All right. So. That's a lot of nut. Um, nut. The rock's nut. So I think next time it'll just maybe be a surprise if it's either WrestleMania or Central Intelligence or Rock's nut on Ballers. <laughs> Do you think the rock's nut has more protein than normal? Yes. <laughs> He ingests all the protein. He's like made a, of protein. I feel like it's probably kind of healthy to ingest. <laughs> probably. Like, you just put that in your shake, bro. Oh, Get boy. some kale and some nuts like, and some This episode water. needs to end quick. <laughs> a rock nut shake. Um, all right, well, <laughs> you're so listening to the I'm, rock block. Yeah, this is... Uh, Lower your expectations. That's how you'll be happy. This is Aaron, Zach, and Sloan with the rock block Why episode four. Audience? Signing off. See you next time. Later. Nut. Bye. <laughs> that that oh, went okay.